Yo, yo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What up, what up, what up, y'all? Check one, two. What up, guys? What up? <laughs> that what was up? amazing. I love it. <laughs> chat room, we what's are good? Here. What's good, chat room? How y'all feeling? Good afternoon. Chilling. Good morning. Good evening to everybody watching around the world. We got, man, this is pretty surreal right here. <laughs> 25 years. Yes. 20, yeah, 25 years in the making, y'all. We got. How's it feel? <laughs> man, how, yeah, how does it feel, y'all? Crazy. Yeah. It feels, it feels great. great. It feels amazing. Sometimes I still think I'm 25. <laughs> Forever 25. Forever 25. <laughs> What's up, Rob? Chilling, Mike. man. Yo, this Joey. is awesome. Q. What up, y'all? Hey, Rob. So what up Rob, to everybody watching? Rob, yes. Rob and Sinister. Yo, don't think that I'm not going to call you guys for the next Megaton 10. <laughs> oh, yo, we're ready. We're ready. Yo, that joint sounds insane. Yes. And it's quintessential. Mix past the mic, energetic, yep. aggressive. Everybody on it got busy. Mm -hmm. We even got Premier and Jazzy Jeff, like OGs of the OGs of fucking DJ songs. Really dope, man. And c congratulations yes. on putting that together, Mike. Oh man, I, I appreciate it. I, I I appreciate it. It just you know, it's just you know, at the end of the day, it's for the integrity of our art. And, Amen. Um, and there, right. that was there, those you know, at, at just some point, there was too much fuck shit going on. So it was just like someone had to step in and you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone someone just had to take charge, man. That's how I feel. <laughs> hey, no, Mike, I'm just saying though. I'm just saying though. Like, this is for us, you know what I mean? Yes. No, this is, this I, is, I, I want to give flowers to all my comrades. I don't need anything. <laughs> I just, I want to give, like, Yo, props Mike, to I'm, everybody on, on this I was track. saying that Mike took it back to his, to his Tascam 488 days. Oh, you know what I'm wow. saying? Like, you brought it back to the mixtape shit, so. Wow. Those are, those are the best tapes. Those are the best ones. Yeah, for Yo, sure. So how many people we got in the room so far? We got 700 Woo! plus people in the room. So shout wow. out to everybody around the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yes. Thank you guys for joining us for this. Fucking all right, man. Like, well, look, this is the moment of all moments. Like, Rob, yeah, set it off, Rob. I say let's start this shit because I know those people are waiting for us to get into the whole point of us assembling together here on Twitch, on Shorts Channel. Obviously, we're here to celebrate the 25th year anniversary of the most epic bout between DJs, the Invisible Scratch Pickles, Mixmaster Mike, Shortcut, Hubert against the Grandmaster Rock Raider. Raiders obviously here in spirit. Mr. Sinister and myself back at the ITF, the first ITF International Turntablist Federation competition in 1996, which was the brainchild of Uncle Al, AKA Alex Aquino, yes. which is sitting with us. Uh, yo, man, pan a camera to Al. Yeah. If you can. <laughs> yeah. What up, guys? Yeah. Al, I'm so honored to be here with you guys, man. I love you, brothers. Word, man. So, so, shout out to Breakbeat Lou in the house, too. In the house too. Word. Yeah, shout out to Breakbeat Lou. So, yep. uh, I'm just going to give everyone some backstory on how this battle came to be. And then, obviously, Joey, Sinister sitting next to me, you guys are out there where you are. By all means, chime in. Cut me off when you feel like you want to <laughs> say something that's pertinent to the conversation. But so obviously, coming up here on the west coast, on the east coast, <laughs> coming up on the east coast, it was myself, Raider, Sinister. We became the face of the X Men in the mid '90s. The X Men started in 1989. The original members were CD, Sean C. Rock Raider and Johnny Cash. And as the years went on, they put different people that they met up at other battles down with the crew. They met up with me in 1991 and they put me and Dr. Butcher down with the crew. I met Sinister through Dr. Butcher, who was our mentor. Dr. Butcher trained us and prepared us for competitions. And through Butcher, I met Steve D and He's a big part of the reason why Steve D put me down with the X-Men. By 1993, Raider and myself were like the one two punch of the crew. And we were 
doing our thing, doing random local shows here in New York City. And Steve D was touring. Sean C was into production. Johnny Cash was doing his thing, you know, starting a fan, moved to Jacksonville, Florida. Diamond J was touring with Prince. So it was just Raider and myself here in New York representing for the crew. And we put Mr. Sinister down in 1993, right before he entered the Clark Kent supremacy battle. So for a few years between, I'd say, 1993 and 1996, mm -hmm. it was myself, Rock Raider, and Mr. Sinister. We were, were like what I would like to say, the face of the X-Men. We were the ones kind of carrying the torch and pushing forward with the art form and making sure that, you know, the whole art on the East Coast remained pure and, and true. Um, then around the same time, parallel to us, I don't know if you guys want to chime in, you guys were growing out on the West Coast. Yeah. So maybe, Hubert, maybe you could, and Mike, I know kind of Mike is like the nucleus of the whole thing with you guys. So maybe you could chime in on those years and what was going on on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Q, you want to tell him? Yeah, was, uh, we was in the battles, like the DMC battles around that time. Um, Apollo and Mixed Mess Mike had a, had a, a, a kind of band thing. And then I jumped in, and then me and Mike took over in 93, 94 for the DMC around that time. Yeah. And then what else happened? 95, I think we uh, Raider, we judged the battle with Raider, and we, uh, we were the judges, and we let him win. And then me and Mike... Uh, we're like, you know, it's time to make music because we stopped battling. Remember the DMC was like, you guys got to stop battling. Nobody wants to enter the competition because you guys are in. So we just became judges at that time. I don't know if they were, I think they were just fucking around. But then I think 96 came around and we're like, what are we going to do? There's no battle thing. Let's, let's start, let's get into the music stuff. Right, Mike? And we started. Yeah, you know, you know, what was a great, <laughs> you know, what was a, a dope moment in time. What I remember about Anthony is he, when he won the DMC, we were so happy like we were more happy than he was yeah and i think i think we ended up getting drunk that night and i we helped him <laughs> we we helped him carry his gold turntables into the taxi cab Yo. remember that wow yeah remember we, we rushed up and i remember us celebrating and everybody around looking at us and there was some salty peeps in there <laughs> like, like come, coming from the uk because there was like to god damn it those americans yeah, he, won again he somebody own them with. You know what I mean? Like those Americans are going home with it again. <laughs> and, 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 and I, no, I just remember, I just remember uh, uh, Raider's face, and, and I was just like, just hugging him and telling him how much I loved him and how much he deserved it, and and he was just, he was speechless, you know, <laughs> you know, and, 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 I, and I, I remember that cab ride. I remember that cab ride with Raider, me, Q, and Raider, with the gold turntables in the in, in the mixer and his jacket. Going back to the hotel room. Big yeah, shout to John Carlito from Battle Sounds. I believe he was in that cab and documented that whole oh, shit. night. What? Was, yeah, and I saw a video of you guys in the cab celebrating, yeah. Raider laughing. You, and you, you got his drink in Hennessy? <laughs> I, I think, I think <laughs> you know what? There's footage that I saw of you guys toasting. Yeah. Look at Alpha Because me, Raider. Q, I, did, you, did you get smashed with us, Q? We got, then, I, got every, I did every fucking drug possible <laughs> except for heroin. Absolutely. We, we got smashed that night, yo. Because I remember we woke up that morning and have, had to hop on a flight back, and we was just like, fucked. Like, so by, that was, that was 1995. Yes. By 1996, Hubert, Mike, and Shortcut, you guys decided – all right, enough with the battles. Now let's be recording artists and make music. So you guys signed with Asphodel Records, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, uh, the routine that we uh, made, we called it the Clams of Death routine, and but that was on the Asphodel. I remember. Yeah. All right, I remember that. So around the same time, on the East Coast, right after Raider won his world title, we also decided. We needed yes. to now move forward and do something different because something I'd, I'd like to just touch on for all the DJs out there watching, and I'm sure that there's a lot of battle DJs out there. 
one thing that I'm proud of with regards to my generation, specifically the people assembled together on this show, is that as much as we love battling, we also knew that there was more out there, you know, and that winning a title wasn't the end all be all of what a DJ can accomplish. So we did our thing in the battle circuit and then it was like, what's next? And for the pickles, you guys was like, let's make music and be recording artists. And we made the same decision and signed with the same record label, Asphodel Records, based out of San Francisco, California. And I would say about a year after you guys came out with Asphodel, we released our album, um, Expressions. And so I just want to say, man, that like part of the reason why the Pickles, the Executioners now, we're better known as the Executioners, continue to make a mark in the music industry is because as much as we're gathered here today to talk about a battle, it wasn't just about battling for us. It was about just being recording artists, being creative and putting out music and reaching people beyond getting on a stage and waiting for a judge to decide if you won or not. You know what I'm saying? And even today, starting off the show, my boy Mike just, you know, fucking debuted fucking a new song that he's, you know, working on with the likes of Premier, Jazzy Jeff, guys that have battled praise eight track but see themselves as recording artists as well and that's something important and i just wanted to make sure that i touched on that because a lot of battle djs don't see past battling and and there's definitely life after winning a competition what up yeah it's all you know what it is it's all about it's all it's all about reinvention in this game in this sport yes it, 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 reinvention is very very important and it's always, you always got to have an ear to the streets. Right. No matter how young the kids are, you got to, you know, as well as we could teach them, we could learn off them as well. That's right. So, so, so you just got to be, you know, you just got to have that sense, that spidey sense. And you got to, uh, you know, make that transition from a DJ. It's, it's either you want to be a DJ or you want to be a composer. I want to be both. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, 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 um, um, you just gotta have a passion for it. You gotta. For me, I'm addicted that to making music. That's the progression. The natural progression. I, 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 I can't stop making music because I'm addicted I, to I it. I relate to that totally. Like, I, that's what I always tell people that ask me. They always ask me, like, you know, you know, it's amazing because people come up to me like I still get seen like the places and people are like, oh, sinister. I don't know how you do it, man. Like it's still going on with this. Like, like, and and it makes me feel good that people recognize that and always they ask me how do I do it. I always tell them. What you said is passion. You know, I'm addicted to making music. I'm addicted to listening to it, listening to it. I'm a fan as well as a musician. You know, so I think that's one of the important things that a lot of people out there should know too is that, you know, also listen to the other artists. You know, that's what helps me to do it. Um, it keeps me going because there's so many artists out there. I went into a record store the other day. And I just saw like so many records and artists and people that I've never heard of in my life. And like, so many different artists, man, that, that were out there. And, and just to know that, to listen to these guys and play the record and, and, and just listen to them and being a fan of the music, it inspires me as well to do my music. So that's a very important point that I would like to tell anybody, DJs, producers, MCs, rappers, it's, it's about a passion. Mike hit it on the nose, it's about passion. Yeah, well, you become, you become what you study and right. you become what you grew up to. I grew up, admiring Ennio Marcone, um, Lalo mm. Schifrin, and Quincy Jones. Nice. These, these are the people I wanted to be like. I yes. didn't want to be like the other DJ. I wanted to be like those guys. Yes. And, nice. and um, Stravinsky, like all the, all these, these composers. And um, I, I just applied it. I just applied uh, that, mm. that, that, that knowledge into making compositions. And, that, and that's an, that's an important thing, especially if you want to make a living out of this thing, it's yes. very important to make that transition. Because um, there's only so far you can go with playing other people's music and that's blending right. and mixing. That's right. You know I mean? As much as you love it, there's only so far you can go with it. Right. And now, yeah. on that note, 
I think this is a perfect segue into the actual reason we're assembled together here. Boom. We sign these record contracts with an independent record label named Asphodel based out of San Francisco. But around the same time, we were traveling as the X-Men doing shows. The Invisible Scratch Pickles were obviously also traveling. And Uncle Al, Alex Aquino, came up with this genius idea mm -hmm. to tour both crews together. Mm -hmm. And we started doing shows mainly in the West Coast area. Mm -hmm. So Alex, maybe you could chime in on the little spot dates that we were doing back then and and the i the the fact that you had the foresight to be like guys let's put together our own proper shows without rappers it it'll just be us djs on stage doing routines we could sell out these venues man and trust me and and we did and you got us to expose this art form to people that never saw it before, man. Maybe Alex, you could chime in on the shows that we started doing that led up to the battle between the Pickles and the X-Men. Yeah, I think that there was, I think we did the shows after the battle, right? I think, was it after the battle? I think we did, it, yeah, it might it have, was after did the we battle. do them after or like did we do some tour dates, like maybe one or two before? After. It was after? It was after, yeah. It was after, so brother. Was yeah. And, so, what I like, and I know me, Short, and Alex, we were all on the phone yesterday trying to get our timelines together. Crazy, yeah. It's like a show that we had together. But you got to remember, you guys, you guys were at a, a peak in your careers where, like, y'all didn't have to battle. Right, right, right. You right. know what I mean? Right. This, was a, this is a thing that, you know, we were brothers already. We were right. ready to come. I remember when we first originally started with Mike. And Apollo, DJ Apollo, we have to sit, shout out DJ Apollo. Oh man, sure. um, those two guys started a group together before Q actually, in, 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 in Q, Apollo still knew, Q, we all knew each other, but the group was TWS, was, am I wrong, Mike? It was TWS, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So together with style and then- Together with style, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep, yeah. and then Q came in, but anyways, going forward, the vision of what these guys had with Mike, Apollo and Q, the vision of like being the 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 main act, not just the DJ behind the scenes. And right. I remember going to clubs and trying to book the guys, mm -hmm. and they're like, "You're gonna do what? Forty five minutes, and you want to get paid, you know, three hundred bucks? Like I would pay two hundred dollars for a DJ to play the whole night." And we're right. like, "No, we're performing." The yes. concept of that alone. Mm -hmm. that Mike and Q and, and 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 Apollo had was that you know they you know they thought they were we were a rock band that's how wow. we felt yeah. and we just didn't get the dap of a rock band we were like one day the DJs are going to be bigger than the biggest rock band and back then yeah rock bands were the biggest shit of the world right you know what I mean right. and so back. and then I remember just the concept of these guys doing and, and of course Doing the shows and then me and you guys, you guys were felt we felt like you guys were like our our yin our yang, our black and white, our other side, our brothers, like our on, on the east coast, including you know Joe from Fat Beats. Got a shout out to Joe from Fat Beats, um, right, Peter right. Oasis, Eclipse oh, from Fat Beats. Like these guys were all those guys were like the West Coast crew, and we're like, I mean the East Coast crew. I'm confused. Sorry guys. But West Coast and East Coast, and we were like our counterparts, but you guys were our brothers already. Yes. At this time of the battle, Mike were doing, you know, they were you guys were both having championships in individually. Yes. But anyways, long story short, the, the the touring came after this fucking battle, bro. But yo, yeah. that's but yes, what I'm confused about is there was a show or a date that we were all at. And we had dinner with Crazy Legs. And I'm assuming yes. that it was a gig that we all performed at. Am I right, Hubert? Yeah, well. What's that? What's that? I think we did a, uh, it was kind of like a scratch tour thing. Or was that was, no, that was later. That was, that was before that. That was later. That was, that was later. I'm sorry, that was later. That was later. We did something where we, we were in the West Coast. We were out in the West Coast. 
Our brother Crazy Legs was out here too. We are all on the table, everybody in this room. So this is, wait up, just, let's yeah. just do this. Let's just do this right. This is after a show. There, there was a show. That, after a show. We haven't, this, we haven't found out which show that was. Right, we don't know, right. but it was, a, it was a gig. And that's what I guess threw or throws me off about it was, was it, you know, it's 25 years ago, that's a long time. But from what I remember, myself, Raider, Sin, Short, Mike, Hubert, you, Alex, and Crazy Legs went to like a Denny's or an IHOP or something after Correct. this gig. And we were sitting, wrapping up our meal, and Crazy Legs, out of nowhere, goes, yo, I think this July, it'll be dope if the Invisible Scratch Pickles battle the X-Men. And we started like looking at each other. Yo. Because we were just like, that. what the fuck? <laughs> Alex, do you remember that? Yes. It, it, uh, very clear. Because uh, at the time, it was very awkward. We were like, again, you guys no, didn't have true. to battle. At the time, you guys were at the height of you guys' shit. <laughs> and, and and honestly, it was some on some real core hip-hop shit. Yeah. Like, the, the, somebody you mentioned, didn't do it for uh, money. You guys didn't do it for any, you know what I mean? You guys put your names on the line. And like today, this this that era of battling and being like, "Yo, let's let's do this," right? Type of shit. And Somebody honestly, Miami. Was we're in Miami? Miami. Did we have a show in Miami right before that? We right did. Before did. That? We, there was one in San Francisco right? too out there. So and then no, you know, since was in Miami, cute. What shows Somebody did we do? I what I, what I booked. I don't fucking I know remember. You something and I know <laughs> crazy like. God damn. <laughs> All right, so we were somewhere. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yes, we're, we're in the East. Somewhere in the West. Yeah. yeah. And, so, and Legs instigated the battle between <laughs> the X Men and the Pickles. We want to set it. And the thing about it is, like Alex is saying, all of us were, I think, a little stunned. I remember Correct. looking at everybody <laughs> right after Leg said that, and we were all like, what just happened? Like, <laughs> why is Leg trying to instigate a battle between us? Cause, because we were friends, man. Like, we were friends, and you don't necessarily, like, you may battle a friend at home in private amongst each other to practice and motivate each other, but in public, when you battle <laughs> someone that you love and admire and respect there's always the well what is the crowd gonna say and you know like it's just a lot of weirdness regarding that battling like that in public and we weren't necessarily thinking about that right. so when Lex exactly. brought it to the table we were all looking at each other like what the fuck? Yeah, like, what the, what the, we're like, what the fuck? We're gonna have to fight each other? What the fuck? <laughs> exactly. Yo, it we're was like fucking fight in the if, ring. Let, let's let's face it though. Let's face it. If if it wasn't anybody else saying, "Hey, you guys should battle," we'd be like, "Get the fuck out of here, kick rocks." <laughs> right. Yeah. If it wasn't for Crazy Legs actually really doing some b boy <laughs> real hip hop shit, honestly came to you know what I mean and said, "Hey, that's some that's the that's that's the pilgrimage that you guys gotta go through." It's right. a really put your name on the line if you guys are really the shit, and this is hip hop. Y'all battled, and we couldn't turn that down. We couldn't say no to Lex. We couldn't say no to each other. That our, the most honorable thing would be, fuck yeah. And so we honored you. The, that was that was an honor thing to accept the battle. You know what I mean? Yeah. To be like, this is a worthy component. And that was that was just a, a that that night was amazing. You know, you, was, really you know what was dope? You know what was dope? There was no trophy, no jacket. Nothing. No, no money. Accolades, no winner. That's what was dope about it. Exactly. And, and the crowd, the yeah, crowd was right. conflicted, right? They're, bro, bro. <laughs> Yo, we shook the A world, bro. The crowd. Yeah. yeah. And and honestly, taken to that level, in the, and, and you got to look at that dynamic of where the DJ was at that particular time. Right. And what you guys did, and like, especially the team routine it was like it, it's just like having like you know led zeppelin and acdc battle oh, back. and it's like holy shit they, why would, what the fuck i know you mean like, like you couldn't you know what i mean you couldn't fathom it and so the it, it, it's just amazing how 
how you took it to the in, you guys took these turntables as instruments and became this rock band of of hip hop together and collided that one night. It was like WWF. It was like the biggest fucking boxing match. It was Sparta. Exactly, bro. It was the Clash of the Titans. And uh, I just can't express the 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 the, the vibe of, of that particular time. I just wanted to let the, everybody to understand that 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 dynamic. But guys, it was an amazing night. I think legs, um, you know, rock steady. We were rock steady, and we were thinking like, where's the best location? And legs was like, let's do it at the rock steady crew anniversary. And it was like, holy shit! And it was the perfect place because it was in New York, which was your hometown, the X Men's hometown. But we were rock steady, so it was like it was at our show in their town. So it was it, it was like play equal playing field equal playing, equal playing like field, we got yeah. this holy shit this is lining up like the moons you know what i mean yeah, so yeah, yeah. this this thing was like it, it changed it changed the dynamic of turntablism period this battle period you can't deny that so i just want you know yo let's, but and let's again, talk about the, let's let's talk about the timeline that we had like i think when we first when we had that dinner it was like in may or some shit right like Yes, May May of 1996, but then the battle was in July. So we had what May, June. We only had like a couple months to practice. You, you all, y'all remember that? Yes. Yes, I remember leaving the dinner, thinking to myself, "I'm fucking coming out of retirement, <laughs> not just to get into a battle, not just a battle like random not just, coming DJs, not a I'm local battle." Right, not a local battle. I'm coming out of retirement to battle the best DJs in the world. Mm -hmm. And not only that, as Shortcut said, I have two months to prepare. And I remember on the plane ride or on the plane flight back home, I pulled out paper from my record bag and I asked one of the flight attendants for a pen and I started writing down ideas for things that I could do because I wanted a head start creatively on what I wanted to practice when I got home. And I remember I looked around and saw Sin thinking of ideas, talking with Raider. We were brainstorming what we were gonna do on the flight before we even landed back in New York. And once we got home, it was on. We went hard with the practice because this battle was a once in a lifetime event you know and we wanted to make sure that we weren't embarrassed you know so we really went hard with the practicing i don't know what it was like for you guys oh man i i was telling q and mike um alex weren't we in europe and then we came home and we had to q you might remember we mean me and mike slept on q's couch for like two three days straight <laughs> making up the routine right yeah i remember um we was kind of I I was fresh off the battle thing because I was I was already battling like every freaking year even in high school I was battling like every freaking year it was a, some kind of big competition thing and I was like when I heard about that we're gonna battle the execution I was like oh shit fuck let's get these motherfuckers let's go I was like I was just, I was, I was like, let's fuck let's get these it was I was like, fuck that, let's go back. This I couldn't wait because I was already battling every single fucking year. And it was like, let's release this fucking energy in this battle and shit. And so I got uh, short and Mike came over the house. Like, let's go, come on. <laughs> Ten more minutes. <laughs> come on, let's go. Fuck yeah. Like everything was like, it was like, because I was in this thing um, in high school called the ROTC. And it was very uh, militaristic. And it was just like, com coming from there, it was like, like, give me ten, 10 more push-ups. Let's go. And it was kind of like one of those things. I was just using that that energy to to, uh, to just overcome the the uh, the whole battle thing. Like, let's fuck it, then let's go. You know, kind of like, like extreme nerd hip-hop b-boy mentality is what I was yeah. thinking about. I was just, you know, like, fuck it, let's battle then, motherfucker, let's go. Yo, Q. Yo, uh, it was, talk, it was talk, battle, Q. battle mode. Yeah. And, and it, it was yes, just like, yes, it was I, I, I remember, it was I remember mindset. after that dinner, our, our whole fucking thing changed. Yes. Our perception of what we're, you know what I mean? Going from the, from the dinner and leaving going, it's holy shit. It's fucking on. And I remember it was a real battle. We, we yeah. really like took our friendship hat off and been like, yeah. 
let's go. Hip hop yep. shit right here. This is why we do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I, 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 went, I went. I made. Like honestly, we were friends. like, fuck, I, the, fuck them. Let's I, go. I, I, yeah. I made a call. To, I, I made a call to my arms dealer. I'm like, stock me up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. Like, we're gonna stockpile. We're gonna stockpile some shit. Because the, you Yo. know these boys are gonna come with some shit. They're gonna shoot missiles our way, and we yeah. better have a fucking defense shield for these. These motherfuckers are deadly. We, we knew that. Yeah, we, we, we need a fucking know, defense these shield. These motherfuckers are deadly. It's like going into yeah. New York. It was just like going to New York, picking the grimiest fucking spot and picking the biggest, craziest crew to battle. That's how it's done. <laughs> like, we're going to fucking... We gotta, you know, New York is the fucking... forks and the kitchen knives and everything. Yeah. You know, New York is like, like, the I'm going to fucking battle Mr. Sinister? What? Oh, Raider? Fuck. Raider. Raider alone. Raider? Oh, Raider. Who's taking Ra Ra I remember Raider? Me, I remember me, Q, and Short looking at each other. I'm like, who you got? Who do you want? <laughs> I go, who do you want? Who do you want? Who do you want? I go, Q, you take, you take Raider. I'll take, I'll take Rob. <laughs> and since since you got the juggle short, you got to take yep. you got to take Mr. exactly. Sims. That's how it went down. No, you know that's I mean? exactly <laughs> how it went down. Sure, one hundred percent, Mike. Well, yeah, you know what's funny people. about that, Mike? We did the same thing, but we had it different. Mm. We decided I battle Cuber. Yep. Raider was gonna battle Mike, mm -hmm. and Sin was gonna battle Short. I was scared. And our mentality wow. was, yo, wow. and, and obviously each of you guys are dope for different reasons, right? But with that said, to be 100% transparent, the guy out of the three of you guys that we feared the most was Mike. Yeah, and and that was it. Wasn't necessarily that Mike was better than you guys. Like again, each of you guys are are dope for different reasons. But what Mike did in the 1992 supremacy battle, that shit like left a mark yeah. on our minds. Like he was a seminar. Mike literally embarrassed every competitor in that battle. Like, that was it. Not just beat, but embarrassed. Yeah, and and you know. We, you know, I was in the battle. Obviously, people that have seen the YouTube video know that I got bumped out the first round, which was bullshit. I should have <laughs> won that first round. Um, uh, Raider got bumped out, so neither of us got to battle Mike, but we saw Mike just obliterate competitor after competitor. So, four years later, when we were going to battle you guys. We were like, yo, Mike is gonna be a fucking problem. Yep. <laughs> so, so yes, so that, that battle was amazing. Shout out to DJ Honda. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah, Honda battled Mike at, at the mm -hmm. in the finals, right? He did. Honda. He did. With Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. From the far east to the far west. Right. Yeah. So 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 our mentality that was, was the finals. Yeah. So our mentality was Raider, you battle Mike because Mike is very aggressive and you're aggressive. Yeah. So you got to combat that aggressiveness and you fucking take Mike. You worry about Mike. And I was like, yo, I'll handle Qbert. Qbert is kind of cerebral. I'm cerebral. You know what I mean? Um, and, and we felt sin could match shortcuts funkiness. So, so at the battle, and obviously we're going to watch it in a few, but at the battle, it was switch and, and the, the pairing was more, what you guys said. I went up against Mike and I'm like, yo, I'm battling Mike. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, God damn. Like, shit. I was on stage like kind of nervous. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Cuba went at Raider just yeah. the way you guys planned it. But yeah. we were caught off guard. We didn't realize it was gonna be like we that. were we were we were nervous at that point. <laughs> so yo, I think I think now is a good time short to probably throw on the team team, man. And, no, man. no doubt. Oh, real quick, I wanted to say something too. Yep. For, uh, for us, uh, me and Mike were talking about what happened, like leading up to the to the just even the team routine. Mike, remember uh, we were talking about we we're in the hotel room, and we were just practicing the routine over and over again. Like you know, because the routine was like what thirteen minutes, and we're like after we're done, okay, one more time, one more time. <laughs> you remember Q? Remember Q? One more time. One yeah, more time. yeah. We had to. Uh, we practiced so much. Like as we were driving in the taxi to the show, we would. Practice it out. Part. We would say it with our mouth. I should practice. I should motherfucking. Yep. We're doing the whole routine with our mouth, and, and 
you know, we're practicing the, even backstage, practicing routine, uh, air scratching the whole routine if the turntables weren't around. Yeah, wow. after, that's, after that's the amazing. 50th time, we're like, one more time? <laughs> <laughs> after the 50th yeah. time, one more time. Yep, that's good. That's good. The more we do it, the more we get it perfected. One yeah. more time. Yeah. That was our approach to the solos, too. Like, we were, we, like, when we was practicing, we went, we did our solos at least, like, like, in a day, we would, we would go for, like, four to five hours and just do the same routines. Yes, 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 yes. Same, same routine. Like the same way I did it, we do the same routine. As far as the team was, uh, uh, you want to go back to solos? Yeah, let's do some solos again. Let's, oh, let's go back and do the team stuff again. It was the same way I did it. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, keep in mind our solos. I wasn't in good shape by the end of that night, like because we battled at four o'clock in the morning. Five in the morning. Yeah, yeah man. And and I was I was fucking exhausted. Yo, no, that like that, that, I was nice. exhausted. I was getting like that chest whole day pain was because I was been up fuck. for seventy two hours straight. I and think I wasn't in good condition. Like yeah. I just Yo, remember I just it was a marathon. Up. I had to really man up. Oh, so that yeah. we, we, I had that to dig deep though. to go against you guys for that. Yeah, are we look. It was at Swire. I think that was the longest of anybody, all the fans that are out there. So that, bro, my battle was the longest battle in history. It started history. That whole night. Twilight. No, just, remember it started in the daytime with the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah and we, then we, it was, the was fucking, We it was battled like the, the whole day all through the yeah. We had battled the whole fucking day. And you we remember, had, you guys had Manhattan Center first, and then we had to get go from there. <laughs> the first battle, the team battles at Manhattan Center, correct, right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. yeah. We had to go, and then we, we all went to Twilight. There was a part two the night of. That's wow. crazy. Wow. Now, and now, but no, just check this out. Here's another fucking fuck dynamic. We had to, we, honestly, we did a whole battle before you guys battled. We had the ITF championships. Oh, shit. That's wow. right. And then you guys battled it. That's why I was at four in the fucking morning. morning wow. So motherfuckers were scratching all shit. night. And everybody stayed. <laughs> that place God, was so fucking hot and packed. You could not let Big anybody shout. in that place. Big shout to Total Eclipse who won. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Total Eclipse. Oh, and Eclipse that won that boo. Babu my brother Babu and Total Eclipse. Yeah, that, that yeah. is the Total Eclipse. Salute one those guys. Salute. 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 salute Bab, salute Tony. Salute Keith, man. Legendary. Up, man. Legendary. Red Paddock was in that battle. There was a lot of people in there. Yeah, Craze was in that battle. Vinrock. Oh, right. Vinrock. Was, was oh shit, Craze. But it was a long. It was a long oh, day. It was a long was fucking. Day. It was exhausting, but it was fun. It was a. No, fun it was definitely worth it too, day. man. So short, man. Let's run it, dude. Let's yeah, let's, let's run it. Yo, but before yeah. before I run it, I just want to say something too, man, because I, I I I've been just listening to you guys, and as the younger one out of all you guys here, uh, for me, just it, this this whole battle is just so monumental to me because just growing up in the Bay Area, the gods was Apollo, Mike, and Q, and then eventually Mike and Q and Apollo put me under their wing and they got me down with the crew, which was you know that's mind blowing for me as just a, a fan, you know, coming up in the in the in the Bay Area as a DJ, but then to battle. A crew that I got my style from, you know what I'm saying? It's just wow. mind blowing, you know what I'm saying? So, just want to, you know, respect to all my big brothers in the room, because yeah, yeah. respect, Jordan. yeah, salute, no, Jordan. 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 with Rob so called the X Factor. Is that right? Oh, that, yeah. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan's in another, everybody's right? crew. <laughs> <laughs> right? Short is in every fucking buddy's crew. Right? I'm getting twisted. <laughs> All right, y'all. With that said, let's let's watch this. I know you guys been waiting, and I'm, I'm glad you guys let us talk because, like I said, a lot of us haven't talked to each other in a long time. But this is a, a very monumental moment for all of us, and, and we're glad that everybody in the room in the, right now is watching this, and we're, we're we're so happy that you guys could be here to witness this with us. Let's watch this, and yo, fellas, if you guys want to stop the routines or you know just call it out, like yo, short, stop it. If you guys want to say something, let me know. All right. If you want to know who the winner is, you can discuss it among yourselves, but we're not announcing a winner. Because they're in Zulu, and they're in Zulu, and it's all love. This is just for y'all. All right, so Cuba calls. Cuba calls heads. Get that head. There's a reason why it's called heads, too, by the way. What was, was that, Cuba? I was talking about ROTC earlier. There's a reason I got to... um. 
I, uh, what do you call it? I got the coin toss. So they're like, you want to go first or second? And being in ROTC, when we would compete against another school, we would always go second because the first, the first people, they would do their stuff. And normally in the, um, the psychology of the audience, they're only going to pretty much remember more of who went last. Right. So I said, so you guys, we motherfuckers go first. We're going to go last. <laughs> Art of war shit. Damn. Yes, yeah. Yep. How's it sound, y'all? How's it sound? It sounds great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, honestly, we're gonna have some trouble right here. These motherfuckers are coming out. Oh, hey, yeah. I love this part. Yeah, Dr. J. Yeah. Dr. J. Okay, explain this. All right, stop, stop, stop. Cool. Yo, yo. All right, up so, Dr. J in the room. Yeah, so let's let's uh explain what's going on right here. <laughs> As many of you know, the X Men is like a, a probably eight, nine member crew. And Diamond J was one of the first of the second generation to, to be inducted into the crew. He got down in 1990. Anyway, I don't know if Short, Mike, and Hubert realized this, but we thought 
that this was also going to be a part of this battle. Right. So we asked Diamond J to prepare with us. And he got on stage that day at Manhattan Center because we were under the impression that this was going to be there with you guys. So when you guys showed up without him, we told Jay, like, yo, we're going to have to, like, switch up the routine because right. it's not fair to go four against three. So we felt bad that, like, Diamond Jay's on stage, he's, but he's not really doing anything. So we were just like, yo, just jump on real yeah. quick yeah, do a, and get, just get, a little shine yeah, get your little shine on and then get back out of the, the way. And we'll, <laughs> we'll continue on with the set. Yeah. So I know that watching this segment of the – team routine might confuse a lot of people because they might think like, well, what what was his role yeah, in the yeah. in the routine? But we thought it was going to be four on four and then it realized that it was going to be three of you guys until that day. So that's why he went on right. for that short period of time. Yeah, we so you're talking about having Apollo, you thought Apollo was on uh, No, we fourth? thought, well, we, we, we honestly thought it was going to be Mike Hubert, Short, and Disc. Oh, that's what we thought. And then, but obviously, it was it, Disc wasn't there. So we, uh, like, on the spot, we told Jay, like, dude, like, this is yeah. unfair. Like, yeah. we can't do four against three. But that's why he made that little cameo because he was there with us. He he came to the practices, mm -hmm. and we just felt like we wanted him to get some kind of shine. That's dope. Yeah, it was Yo, big, up, big up Diamond J, man. He's in the room right now too. Diamond J. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, guys in the crew, our, our crew as well, but only Shortcut and Mike were the most disciplined to freaking just, you know, do the actual routine and stuff. And, right. and then everybody else was like, yeah, let's just have a beer. Let's go fucking play some Street Fighter. Let's go fucking take some acid. Let's go fucking jerk off and do some shrooms. And Mike and Shortcut were like, nah, man, we got to fucking, let's get this all tight. And it was like, that was the crew right there. You know what I mean? The, 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 the most top of the line guys we had to use. The battle you guys yeah the, the, yeah, yeah the group was going through transitions at the time so that's right, that's right what's going down so here we go here we go we're still doing drugs though. we have to use the, the bosses <laughs> too. what are you talking about q i was on i was on shrooms the whole time okay all right yeah it was like that but at least even though we was on awesome, <laughs> we were still fucking in the practice point yeah, y'all yeah, was still killing it we was like I, I we're high as fuck but let's we're gonna do the routine uh, i was i was in digital i was in digi <laughs> <laughs> i was seeing in digi like <laughs> All right, let's go, 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 let <laughs> Rob looking at Rob. Look at their faces. They were mean looking. This was dope right here. Super dope. Oh man, I left this part all the time. <laughs> and you see, you see Raider queuing up. So you like, yep. oh shit. He's got the epitome of hip hop right here. <laughs> He's still fucking hip hop. Oh, shit. 
Don't do it. Don't do it to us. Oh, uh, oh I have sex and shit. <laughs> God, no. Stick in the finger too. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Man. Oh shit. Come on, man. <laughs> and yeah. Rob, Rob had that uh, loud records uh, jersey yeah, on too. Yeah. Yeah. He had that loud records jersey. Oh. That's it. Yo, um, so I, you know, before we show the ISP portion of the team battle, a I just want to say, watching that is super emotional. Like a part of me feels like crying right now, man. Yeah, I'm of course. Wow. Of um, course. And like you know, you you Raider obviously passed away in 2009, and it's been like over a decade since you know his physical presence is no longer here, man. And um, yeah, man, watching that, watching he's here with us right now. Definitely, yeah. Everybody I, says rest in peace. I say he's rocking in paradise. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Amazing, man. Like. And especially now, like I think now, especially it's emotional because like we're together here, right? And Raider physically isn't here, and right. yeah, it just hits you, man. It fucking hits you. Um, but anyway, man, I think too. I just wanted to also add that. So, like, a lot of people may not realize, but that was our first team routine. We That's pretty good. Yeah. We we never put to like the only DJs, the only fucking DJs doing that shit were the invisible scratch That's right. That's right. And when we were at that dinner with Crazy Legs and Legs instigated this battle between the X-Men and right. the Invisible Scratch Pickles, I remember Hubert was like, All right, if we do this battle, it's not just gonna be one on one head to head, like there should be a team, team. round yep. and we battle as a team and then we do a head to head round and we agree to it. But I just remember thinking like, fuck man, these guys are masters <laughs> at fucking team routines that we've never done nope. though. So, um, I mean, I, I guess that's just me putting out a disclaimer that we didn't know what the <laughs> we fuck we was doing. You know what we did guys? We studied. <laughs> We studied tapes that Kubert would send Raider and myself yep. featuring them doing team mm -hmm. routines. So we were like, yo, let's just watch what they do mm -hmm. and kind of copy it and figure out like <laughs> how to implement our style within what they're already doing. That's right. And then you guys fucking got on and took that shit to like another level. Beyond. Yeah. Y'all yeah, was just sure. amazing. We were like, wow. We were oh, like, he's, he's still got a, a, a what do you call it, rotary phone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, did I say that, Rob? I said that back then. Like, fuck it, I, it has to be a team battle thing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like, yeah, yeah. you were like, yo, if we're gonna do this battle, it, it can't just be head to head. Like, we want to oh, do yeah. a team battle and then a head to head yeah. battle. And we're I like, remember. right, that's fair. Because yeah, yeah. Obviously, too. Like, um, I mean, I don't, I can't put words in your mouth, but think for you. But from our perspective, we thought it was fair because. Our strength was head to head, one on one battling, and we felt like your guys' strength was that team shit. Like you guys were the best at it, so we felt like, yo, it's a fair, it's a fair deal. So fuck it, let's do it. I remember now. Yeah, you guys took the bait. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it went with, uh, like it took both me and Ray to do a drum pattern. <laughs> you know when when you guys were doing it. You guys have one dude doing the drums before, right. so left it no, over. No, but uh, uh, amazing. It sounded it sounded fucking dope as fuck. What you guys did still, like like I was like, damn, this they got For some sure. shit. It was fucking dope. You you know you know as far as DJs, there's a lot of skillful DJs, mm. but they don't have showmanship. 
Right. You guys embody both of that skills yeah, and absolutely. showmanship. You guys are entertainers. Yes. You know what I mean? You guys are fun to watch. You know that was I mean? the New York style, man. That yeah. was like yeah. on some New York shit right there. On some B boy shit. New man. York shit, 100%. Although I don't approve of you guys flipping this off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't approve of that. I don't approve of that behavior. <laughs> but, but, I, but I know it was necessary. I knew it was necessary. That whole Manhattan Center, that 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 whole night was like really great, man. It just at the Manhattan Center when it first well, started. That was in the day. Yeah, yeah, was, that was, yeah, yeah, that wasn't even nighttime. Yeah, that was like the yeah. just all daytime yeah. shit. Like, yeah, damn. Even 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 uh, the team battle like, in the daytime, there was a lot of energy there. Like, there was no, just, there were some legends on that stage. Prior, I mean, yeah. it was about the anniversary. Yes. So, yes. you know what I mean? It it was a it wasn't you know mm -hmm. again. The, that dynamic of us being rock steady, crazy mm -hmm. legs as our as our, you know, crew member, and then at our anniversary, and then yeah. being in New York though, you guys had New York on lock though. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. You yeah. had all your peeps there. Yeah. Hey, you know. hey, did you know? Did you know DJ Scribble was on the floor with the camera filming? Can somebody get that footage? That was DJ Scribble on the floor yeah. recording. Yeah. Yeah, he got, him, he got a good he got a good angle of the battle. I hit him up. Yeah, he probably, he probably yeah, I saw that. You know, we got to look. Who's backstage? He probably, he probably put it out and made a shitload of money off it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, short. Let's let's run with the let's run with you guys now. Yeah. All right, let's do this. I'm waiting. Okay. Let's go. I remember when we were looking at the like that's look it. Look at those orange oh, animal pieces. Oh, like wow that's what the crab scratch first came out was that you i said that's when the crab scratch first came out and now oh, i that's kept doing right. it i was like oh fuck i was so happy you fucking i was just doing it all, all day it <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah dude we were but we, we, we did we did it during the team routine and the solos oh shit <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Yo, we were like, fuck. We were like, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. They just clowned us right yeah. there. That was a transition yeah. period, right? A lot of people in the DMC were doing a gang of body tricks, and there that, wasn't really no much skills that much. Right. And now, it was, you guys, uh, that, that right there threw us for the loop. We was like, wow. I mean, you guys was good because it was you did body tricks and you had skills, but there were some people winning battles with just that, body no, tricks. That was a dope disc. When as soon as that happened, we were like, "Fuck!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Your head heavy? I just had to say that, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Original concept. Record. God damn! I haven't seen this shit in so long. <laughs> Was that you? Wow. It's just Mike's face expressions. You know, like he's like, yo, he's, speak, he's speaking. The uh, the lyrics is hilarious. Yeah. For sure, on the drums, for you guys who don't know, I'm on the um the bass line, and Mike is doing the lyrics. It's fucking crazy. Mike, I remember you when you first when you brought the NWA right, or when you, when you when you just brought the lyrics to the to, to practice, dude. We just built around that shit straight up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yo, yo, real quick, for those yeah. interested, this was the first time we busted out the, the O5s. Oh, wow. Hey. The, the, gray, the gray O5s just came Holy out. Holy shit. Right. Hey, wow. hey, thank, 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 God, thank God for those Q buttons, right, guys? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike. Yo, I love that, Mike. No, yo, all. Yeah, let's let's just touch on that real quick. Thank guys. God for those Q buttons. Yo. Those, those bailout both, buttons. Word. Both crews. We're Tell using them, records, Tell records, vinyl, vinyl. vinyl. Yes, no Rob. laptop. Right. Use, no laptop. Nope. Like we were on a stage with people next to us jumping up and down, yep. and we had yeah. to figure out a way to apply just the right amount of pressure to the record. Ooh, the balance. Skip. That's right. Like so, I mean, so, so the level, the level of difficulty was high. <laughs> Anything could fucking happen. Very high. We exactly. walk in a fucking tightrope. We walk in a tightrope. That's why, in my captions regarding tonight, I've been saying you'll never ever see anything like this again. You'll never right. see anything like this ever again. Mm -hmm. And I'm just glad that I was a part of it, man. And yeah, Mike, I'm glad you touched on that, man. No laptops, no hot juice. For real though. Yeah. Or and, 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 DJing. Yeah. And mind you, we're doing we're doing a routine. Once someone fucks up, that's, that's it. it. Like we we gotta we gotta figure out, you know, yeah, it's you pretty much using the going. force. Just it's using going. the force just to get back on again. You know what I mean? Like getting it back on track. Yeah, there, <laughs> so. there, there, there's no rescue button. There's no yeah. rescue no. There's no <laughs> colored rescue buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Colored no, ass rescue buttons and shit. <laughs> Colorful right. rescue buttons and shit. This is I think the time um uh, we one. we recorded on um Return of the DJ, right, Rob? We did uh, some tracks on there. Yes, yes. Return of the DJ series at the same and, time. Uh, yes. And then short, sure. short was around, and we did uh Invasion of Octopus People. And these are like little mm -hmm. small parts of it. Oh yeah, oh, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And this was yeah, like little uh, high call. We're, we're actually drumming like everything. And all the sounds, and then I use the uh, wah wah pedal on this next part. Oh, yeah. Hey, didn't you scratch the conga? Who was scratching the conga? Uh, that's the James Brown. Like a, it's like a, uh, uh, oh. they call it um, a uh, 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 funky drummer. But it sounds like congas. But it's just the the fucking the drums. They yeah. sound like congas in, in a certain way. That's yeah. Right. And, and I, I had uh, I had the junkyard band sardines. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sardines. Yeah. Yeah. The, the outer oh, space element. That's right. Yeah, it's fucking dope. What a transition this shit. All right, here we go. There's a wild wild pedal like I don't under my feet. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. <laughs> I found it! I found it! <laughs>
like, damn, dude, your stabs. That's what I was. How the fuck are you keeping those? Stab, 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 stab. God damn. That's we fucking like, finesse, Mike. We were like, we were like, yo, Mike's hand is behind it. It gotta be. I had, I had a, I had a quarter, I had a quarter on top of the needle. Ooh, oh, oh shit. You got, Mike's always been like that, though, man. Yeah, Mike's, Mike's always, always been, like been that. precise like that, with with fucking like I said, fucking no no fader up and downs with fucking belt driven shit. Mike was yes, always on yes. point with that Mike's shit. always been that. You know that. Yeah, when we first wow. seen Mike, Mike was on some belt driven shit, and he was still killing, <laughs> yeah, killing yeah, it like twelve yeah. hundreds. Like I swear, no, yeah. no lie. Yep. With the That's fucking quarter. And a piece of gum and tape and all that shit. Yeah. When I yeah. when I first met Mike, he was DJing on. So I don't even know what the fuck turntables those were. I remember the day when you go, Yo, Q, check it out. I got I got a I got a twelve hundred finally. I was like, Yeah, damn. And I was like so fascinated by the techniques twelve hundred. But before that, what were you using? It was like a twelve something. I was using a JBC turntable straight on and, and, and an SLB two hundred. Well, it was I, different. I put, yep. I, you had a mismatch set. I had to put a silver dollar. Or a quarter on top of the needle so it wouldn't skip. And the pitch control was like yeah. this, right? Little uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thing, something you rub. It was a dial. It was a dial. So, so yeah, I, I, you know, I, uh, it was amazing, bro. I was like, how this guy is a magician, man. <laughs> well, I started, man. I was fucking, I was fucking poor. <laughs> 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 God damn! Man. Wow, man. So, uh, man. when Larry kicked him off, when Ooh, Larry remember when we made this shit like, up right oh, here? We got, a, we got a gang of new fucking flare scratches and shit. Nobody knows what this is. So <laughs> we just try to expose that shit as much as possible in the battle. <laughs> I, I, I gotta tell little, you, I, I gotta tell you, having Q Mike there, Q. Uh, um, like learn um, coming up together with Q, it like really like put me on alert. Like uh, all the time, I had to be on my P's and Q's because yeah. I had Q. You know what I mean? And I, 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 I it was like he was kind of like my secret weapon. I, I, I like, nice. and and he uh, like inspired me. You know what I mean? I had to go fucking hard. All around, all around. It, all I right. had to go fucking hard. Yeah. Right. Even battling all you guys, we had to fucking every every fucking our peers were so fucking high level that we had to fucking right. Yeah, you, know, you Rob Raider, like mm -hmm. Keith Sinister, <laughs> I had to be on my shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> really, you put us on. You guys all put us on alert. So yeah, we we're on alert. That's it. That's all it's it like was. How you guys put us on alert. Same dope, thing, man. Yeah. Here we go, Mike. Let's go short. <laughs> Wait, stop, stop that. Stop that part. Oh, that part, <laughs> me yeah. and Short will go over in our minds and go, just use the force. If we yeah. go off, just stay on the one. Just stay that on the one. That was the most yep. difficult part, mm. I think, of the routine between like the, the, the two of us doing mm. something like in, in, synch in sync. syncopated, like, right? right. Not only like, that, you guys were echoing it at the same time. Oh, right. that's right. 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 Yo, that shit sounded like a sampler. Yep, straight up. Like if you turn around, I I can easily be under the impression that someone's hitting a pad. Yeah, and that's what people do now to make that sound effect. They will hit a pad, right? And then lower the volume. You know what I mean? Whereas you guys were doing it organically with your hands. That's incredible. It's amazing. Damn. You know that that so that part really took like a lot of like prayers between me and Short. Because yeah, we I hope we look at each other and go, we can't, don't fuck up. <laughs> yeah, don't fuck up. <laughs> don't fuck up. Those are three words. I hope one of us don't go off. Up. Don't fuck this no. part up because it could end. Fuck that. Because the dismount, because there's a dismount at the end. <laughs> and if, if if it doesn't work in the middle, that dismount is not going to last. Yeah. So nope. Nope. Thank you. The grace, to the, to the grace of the Lord. Yeah. Somehow it came together. 
that day. Yeah, it that it sounded, man. Y'all guys nailed it. That that, oh, that shit sounded like a sample straight up, man. That, again, we're again we were battling you guys, so it's like yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. We had to come. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, hold on. I got to see that. So Q busted this out for the first time. Oh, yeah, a lot of echoes. In here. <laughs> what were you doing oh, yeah. right here, Q? You were echoing? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, we're experimenting with a lot of how many fucking things can we echo with the uh, the fader. <laughs> like what Rob was saying, we're using <laughs> the echoes. Oh, shit. I can go. Oh. Yo, 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 kicks out, kicks out. So this part right here, this part right here is uh, it's kind of going over everyone's heads, but this is the relay. We're, we're doing a question and answer thing, like someone will do a solo, but the question, he'll start his solo off as the answer. You know what I mean? Wow, like, wow. And then, then, then we'll, somebody will switch drums, That's and somebody yeah. once, will once, you, once you're done with your solo, once you're done with your solo, you start drumming for the next guy. Wow, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but like the last bar is that guy's fucking intro, intro, right? which is the question. It's like you know, you know how you normally do a question and answer, but instead yeah. you're gonna give the yourself a question, or something like that. Is is weird? It was like a weird thing on the fourth bar. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's like it's like a it's like a weave we're weaving in and out right? i mean taking yeah. turns on certain parts of it. yeah um, I don't even know how to damn crab right. scratch drums That's easy, Transition, fellas. Oh, 
A lot of Slayer influence. Was that cute? Oh no, I was just saying, back when I used to hang out with uh, Mike and Apollo, they would play all this Slayer music and the fucking Slayer, they'd be going fast and all of a sudden they go half time, they go right. one yep. fifth time, they switch all these tempos and we're like, let's, let's try to do that with that's DJ. Pretty, oh yeah, that's right. right. Yes. Beast, beast, beast mode. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this next part right here, sir. What's that? What's that? Right, so this next part right here, I was in Guam and I seen these uh, Tahitian drummers. And one guy would start off like, tuk, 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 you know, hitting the sticks and shit. Tuk, 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 and the next guy would, tuk, 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 and then the fucking neck guy would, tuk, tuk, and the fucking hula dancers dancing the hula. That's like, oh, we got to do that with this uh, with the DJ somehow. That's dope. But too bad there was no hula dancers. Oh, God. Pop fest. Okay, that, that very very that very very last part the very very last part was um what's that uh one it's an all black rock band i think it's color me what the fuck are they called black. all black rock band what are they called they're super famous oh cult of personality what do they sing that, yeah what's, that what's the name of that group the cult of personality what's the that all, color me bad or who the fuck was that Not band? Color bad brains. Color. Bad. In bad brains. Color. i think it's what? in living, living color living yeah, color, yeah, yeah, living yeah, color. Yeah. So that's they would do that shit. So that came from that shit. Yo, yo, that brings, the, right? the, the, the creativity, yeah. the creativity that you guys showed, the innovation, you guys were doing things that nobody was thinking about. Even even now, like if you put three dudes together. Mm -hmm. They, they wouldn't think to do a lot of the shit that you guys did 25 years ago, man. And uh, you guys set the blueprint for team shit. So, like, now when you watch The Odd Couple, for example, myself and and Sinister, we channel the Invisible Scratch Pickles, man. And obviously, we, we try our best to bring our flavor to the table when we get creative. But you guys set the blueprint for what a team routine should sound like man yes. and and just like grand mixer dst set the blueprint for yes. scratching fresh like just like we set the blueprint for beat juggling you guys set the blueprint for team routines man and like that was an awesome experience man and yo i'm pretty sure like within days of that battle we started putting together a new team routine yeah you know what i mean that's how inspirational it was watching you guys yeah Amazing. Thank yeah. you. For, first off, I appreciate what you guys are doing with the odd couple stuff. I, I see you guys. And Thank it you. Just, it, it, just, it just brings me so much joy because I'm like, wow, they're continuing the, the tradition on, on what we grew up to. Wow. And, and they're turning on the new, the new generation to, mm -hmm. to, to, the shit, to, to the shit we've been doing for decades. Yes. And I want, I want to salute you guys. And, uh, and, you. I, and I know Odd Couple put out a record too. So I just yes. want to salute the Odd Couple, and I want everybody to pick up the Odd Couple record. 
and Absolutely. follow these guys because we love these guys so much. Yeah, speaking of, I did I did a scratch on Mike's uh, new record, the uh, Megaton 10, and Mike was recording that same time that uh, Rob Swift and Sinister had put me on a record, so I used the same sample, that uh, yes. uh, Sinister Death Blow. <laughs> Ooh, you did? God damn it, Q. Sorry. <laughs> I did, I, a different scratch style, but I used I the same sample. I, I wanted the exclusive. No, it was a different scratch style. Like, if you listen to there, I did totally different scratch. <laughs> we, we, we got it first. No. We got it first. <laughs> Killed it. It still sounded dope, though. It still sounded really great. It, it's just I'm amazing. I'm to have you guys as brothers, and I just want to tell you guys I love you guys. I love you guys. Absolutely. In, in front of everybody. Guys, I don't give a shit. Yes. Really, yes. I really do. I really do love you guys, and I got your, I got your back whatever you need. From Thank me. you. Same with us, man. What's up, man? Like, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing, man. Like, just knowing that this was gonna happen, man. I was telling Rob, like, yo, I, I'm more or less not here, like online, like a lot. Like, I'm on see my social media, but like, this is really special for me, man, because the times that we came up and had together, man, as far as traveling, being together, and going through all these experiences, all of us as a whole, man, I just really felt special to come over here. And I'm like, damn, go on. And the last time I seen, um, I felt great when I went, when we did NAM. I seen. Robin went home. I had seen Cuber. Cuber invited me to the the, the Thug Rumble office, um, and um, I brought uh, my homegirl from Asphodel Records, Ann Cook. Big shouts to Ann Cook. I brought her and Rachel who worked at Asphodel, and like they all came. And like Cuber, just like just seeing him, man, is just like it brought a breath of fresh air to me, man. Like you know, yo, like, yo sinister. Good. Sinister, you you came to uh the office, the Octagon, and you did this crazy ass four hour routine. Oh man. And so what? <laughs> Dope as f I want that so bad. It was just all b boy breaks, like shit I never heard before. A four you, hour, you killed yes. it. Yeah, it was yo, the best shit I ever heard. B boy breaks, that. like a motherfucker. I have, I have that have shit. Files. I think, did I give you the files? I don't, I don't think I did. Cause I know, I yeah. had, it was, Cuba was dancing. That's how much he loved it. I've never seen Cuba dance. It was just all <laughs> boy, it's the, the shit we love. It's, it was just like yeah. that shit. Four hours of shit I never heard. It was dope. I will send you guys the uh, the files after um, I, I have my hard drive, so I don't know exactly the files uh, the, the the drive I was playing. So I'll send you guys that. I'll send those. Yo, I want to ask Alex Aquino. Um, Alex, how did it feel watching the battle from your perspective? Because we were there throwing the punches, right? But you were there, like just watching it and then seeing the crowd and watching us. How did that feel, Alex? He just had dollar signs in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he saw those. He was like, that and <laughs> dollar signs. <laughs> yeah, once again, thank you, Alex. That was actually the ITF uh, uh, grand opening. Alex, I can't ITF. hear you. Yeah, you ITF lost battle. Me. Alex. Your mic. Alex. Okay, got you. got you. Yo, thank you, Alex, for that. The ITF grand opening was our battle. So right on for that, Alex. Unmute your mic, Al. If you can hear us. You got to unmute your mic, Alex. Thank you. Um, again, that was, um, you know, during the Roxanne anniversary, there was an abundance of fucking talent. But you could feel the energy this year. I mean, it, it was just, it was watching Star Wars or fucking thing live. It was like witnessing true form of, of culture and, and history being made second by second. And um, I was just fortunate to just be in that. Because again, I stage managed the Roxanne anniversary. So I remember setting up those turntables, bro. I remember seeing the crowd before they came and there was an empty room and these guys were like, yo, sound check. And I remember fucking you guys checking, man. And it was like, holy fuck, it's about to fucking go down. <laughs> and there's an empty room, but again, it, it, it was like, it, again, it was an honor, an honor to just be in that room, like, honestly, like, even the legends were there going, holy fuck, you know, and everybody backstage was like, how can we beat this battle? Like, they were about to go on and perform, and like, how can you top that shit? You know what I mean? Like, it was some, because I would, you know, we staged you know, we still did a show right after you guys, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yo, so real quick, uh, Alex just reminded me. <laughs> Yo, uh, Cuber, Mike, and Shortcut. And Alex, too. Do you guys remember before the battle, 
maybe I want to say maybe like a half hour before we went on stage to battle each other, we sort of like encountered each other, but we didn't say hi to each other. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Remember it was, that? Oh, oh, you you were you were the enemy still. Right. Yeah. No, it was. It was. It was. Don't get it twisted, guys. Understand. We didn't hug backstage. There was yeah, nothing we there. Backstage and like me, Raider, Sin, Diamond J, Eclipse, we're about to do like a little huddle, and then we saw you guys walk by, yep. and we didn't say shit to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and I just remember, like, I remember thinking. Like inside, I remember thinking, Yo, this is mad awkward, man. Like, <laughs> like those are our boys, but like, oh, <laughs> Wait, Word, yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. That shit was funny, man. That shit was so funny. These are Yo. these are our boys, but I fucking hate them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate them. <laughs> For sure. No, Yo, I, it was I, awesome. I, I, B-boy shit. And you know what? What else, what else we forgot to say is a new music seminar. Had ended and this was like the next shit. How you guys right. talk about that? One hundred percent. You gotta get the gold belt yeah. and all Clark that. Pass money and all that. Say say about no. that. That's right. That's right. No yeah. big up Clark Kent, man. Yeah, Clark big up Clark Kent and all the yeah. Superman too, man. Yeah. They they were big influence. No, that, that was the foundation of this battle. Yeah, yeah. Right the on. Superman battle. Don't get it twisted. That shit was like the foundation of ITF. The foundation yes. of this core battle. That's right. Know? Big ups to Clark sure. Kent, Richie Rich, Richie Rich Scratch, yeah. Plastic Man. There you man. go, Mike. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at that, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, crazy. Wow. It's, it's rusted wow. and green, oh, but. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, Mike. Yo. I can see the that wood on it. Shit. Yeah, it's rusted and green, but. <laughs> I, see the wood on it. I still got it. Yo, no, so you, short. Um, Sin is gonna have to bounce in a few, man. So maybe we could get to the solo. No! <laughs> all right, all right. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, we're ready. You, wanna, oh, you guys ready? Sin is the death. Chat room. If you guys are feeling good, let me see some riders or something, man. This is a fucking special, special moment, and we, we we're so happy you guys could experience this with us. So uh, yes. yeah, let's check this out, y'all. This is the singles heads ahead. Uh oh. This this shit was crowded. It was all like a fucking oh. how you call it, a sweat box. How you call it? Yeah. Oh, no. This shit was hazardous. Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get this hold right. <laughs> you can listen close. He even mentions a disc in there and other Pickles members in there. I was ready to go. Sick.
right here. This is the part right here. Fucking savages. I think I was, like, I was, that was like, so dope. Let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get his ass. I was ready to go and shit. So I, was just, I was like, you know, in that b-boy circle when the fucking break dancer comes out. Let me go. I got him. I got him. Yeah. Let me go. Let me go. Cause I had a little, a little shit with uh, what was it called? Oh. Rock the bells. I guess, yeah, rock the bells. I think I had made him made him say something like. Oh no no no! Uh, it was rock the bells. It was I can't live without my radio. No no no! Hold on. Yes yes. Oh, right? wait, it was yeah, some yeah, phrase right. I tried to make it sound like rock. Yeah. Like, rock it was it was I can't live without my radio. At the yeah. end of the song, L O Cool J says. Cut creator, rock the beat with your hands. Hands, yep. And yeah. you took the, yeah. um, the, he says cut creator. So he took the radar and he made it go rock, radar, yeah, rock. Was dope. Yeah, I was sick. That's oh, it. Was shit. Sick. Wow. Sick. Okay. I was full of adrenaline here. <laughs> So right there, I missed. I missed the word. It's supposed to say, "Um, battle anybody, baby, just like that." But then the baby was gone, so it just said, "Battle anybody, just like that." I fucked up. <laughs> oh, shit, I missed it. Did you see shortcut behind? Me? Shortcut and Alex Aquino and, and and Diamond J and Crazy Legs behind me. That was, was fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah that, that you slayed that right there, man. Ah, was- uh, so it was so like I just learned how to crab, and I was like, I'm gonna go. Cra- I'm a crab happy and shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, so, the crab, sh- the crab sh- just quick, came out. Real quick, so now that was the first round, or well, we're still in the first round. That was the first battle, Raider against Hubert. So remember, I, as I was saying earlier, I well, we thought that yeah. X Men thought that the lineup was going to be Sinister against Shortcut, Raider against Mike, and me against Hubert. So Q, when you went up against Raider. I kind of was like a little disoriented because I was prepared to go against you. Oh, we we then, freestyle it kind of. We were like, we don't care. Let's just go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, right. Yeah, you guys Yo. are just going up, and I was like, oh fuck, like Q just got off. So then I see Mike, and I'm like, motherfucker, like <laughs> I got a fucking battle right now. So yeah, like, if you guys don't know, people got to watch the new music seminar with Mixmaster Mike when he won the new music seminar right yeah. before this, and he was like destroying everyone. So destroying everybody. Yeah. So now I'm like, I, I see Mike, like I go up to get my shit together. And obviously I see that you've just battled uh, Raider. So I'm like, which one am I going to fucking get? And then Mike gets up and I'm like, motherfucker, like I got to <laughs> battle this dude. So then I my adrenaline just started to kick in. And I was like, yo, well, what am I going to do now? Because I was prepared to battle Cuber, not Mike. <laughs> So I like when Mike was setting up, I was I was looking at Mike. Mike, I was looking at you and you, like the, at the time in 95, 96, mm-hmm. at least you West Coast guys, like you guys specifically, you guys would wear your hats sort of like like 
just yeah, kind of right sitting right. on your head. Yeah. Or like, yeah. like that. Right, exactly. So like, yo, I kid you not, Mike. Like, I was looking at you, Mike, and I was like, no, like, the way he, see, like, we we would rock our hats, like, like on our heads, like, on our heads. Whereas you kind of had it, like, sitting on top. Yeah. So I was looking at It was at so you, fucking like, hot that night, though. Yeah, was I was looking at Mike, and I'm like, yo, I could I could walk over there and take his hat. <laughs> yo, like, literally on the spot, dude. I kid you not, on the spot. So I, so I saw you. You had your hat on, sort of like just sitting on your head, and I was like, I gotta go all out because I know Mike is gonna go at me crazy hard. So like I I I'm like at the time I was really good at the whole Q tricks, like spinning around mm. their silence and then you point at the record and, and the yeah. song in. and i had a really long q trip q trick with uh nobody beats the biz r.i.p biz Marquee, um where like i turn around i drink water it's like literally almost like a minute long and then i turn back around point at the record and the biz nobody beats the biz starts so i was able to like time my q tricks a certain way so i knew I had, but I knew I had enough time to walk over to Mike, take his hat, put it on my head, and point at at my set when when the uh, resurrection comment came in, and I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go for this trick and see if it fucking works." And thankfully, I fucking timed it perfectly, and it worked. And, and just keep in mind, that we he Rob with Rob so you too, because none of us knew that was gonna happen. So even we were like. Yeah. What did he just do? <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah. you Jake you, yeah, like, you, you Jake Pauled me. I had to go all out. So even in when shortcut when you when you show the tape, I think you see like like Joey go, where is this guy going? Like what's he doing? So it it, it caught everyone by surprise and, and even myself because mm-hmm. I wasn't planning on doing it, but yo, that's some battle shit, dude. Like, I like you could rehearse something, but then on the spot, can you improv right and do some crazy shit? And that was just like me going all out, like fuck it, I'm gonna try it because it's mixed master mic, and I gotta leave it all on the stage. So. That's hip hop, it's hip hop. Word, you fucking got me. <laughs> and then you got me. You fucking got, you got, fucking got me. Like, that was fucking like. Yeah, but then you got me back with my own routine. So <laughs> I don't even remember what I did. Yo, let's let's roll yeah, it. Let's, let's roll, 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 roll. roll. God. We love that stone. Sounds good. <laughs> Unexpected. Wow. 
Hey, stop that. <laughs> stop that. Hey, hey Rob, did you, notice how, how, did you notice how sweaty and grimy that hat was? Oh, uh, yeah. On your head? <laughs> God, is that that's 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 it was super sweaty. <laughs> you were like, you put my hat on, you're like, damn, it's a sweaty yeah. motherfucker, man. Sweaty. Early coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. That that was crazy, man. That was insane. Hey, and hey I, that, I remember, that was awesome. Like, the, 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 uh, you need to take your homeboys off the crack. That I planned because um, at the time, everybody was like in our community was talking about how Shortcut and Qbert lost all this weight. You know I mean? yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, so you weren't talking about me doing crack? Nah, nah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was on the crack. We already knew that part. It was my crew. It was my Mike, crew. You, that was this crack. whole time, Mike thought it was him. No, <laughs> nah, nah. That that was towards. That was you know. It was like you, it was. It could go for shortcut or Hubert because you know before that they were heavier. You know what I mean. And then those guys went on some crazy ass diet and they got skinny all of a sudden. So that was just me fucking joking on them. I love well, it. Shit, I after that it. night, we all lost weight. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was a sauna. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit, and, and and mind you, that was this is we're battling at five in the morning right now, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I was exhausted, man. Like, yeah, I don't even know. It was at least was at least three thirty, four o'clock for sure. I was exhausted, man, at this time. Yeah, the crack got me hyped. <laughs> well, well, at least it worked for you. It didn't work for me that night. Now we had just turned though, yeah, you're right. We turned like a little bit vegetarian around that time. All right, let's do a short. Is that casual? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. He said yeah. the X. The X. I remember the, the X, X. yeah. <laughs> oh, Rob, this is your record, though, right?
<laughs> way, way, way out there. That 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 was like way out. Like you just did like a whole amazing way out there set. Like you just was like going. Like you how just, long was that set? That shit was fucking out there. That shit was just like we were like, really? oh, he's in his own right now. He's good with that. No, 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 no always no. been on a different planet. This no, that's fucking. That that was not cohesive that night. I was <laughs> I wasn't in, I wasn't in my right mind. I was exhausted and I was just, I was running on fumes on that. <laughs> well, really, really. I wasn't in the condition to be, to be battling at that time. Like, I yo, was fucked up. Like, just to remind people, we, I know speaking for myself, I can't imagine these guys, you guys, A, flew from the yes. West Coast to New York City. Yep. So already it's like an away game. We had to wake up like what, like 9 a.m., yeah, 8 a.m.? Because yeah. we had to be at Manhattan set to like 11 o'clock yep. in the morning. Did that battle. Then we're wired. Yep. Cause we, like we're battling at night. Then we go to Twilo's at night. No one slept. No one really rested. No. Then we had to judge the ITF. That shit yes. took forever. Yep. Yes. And forever. then finally we battle. battled. We battled like around 2.30 a.m., 3 in the morning. I went to 4.30 to 4, 4.30 yeah, in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So, all I remember was daylight when we stepped out of the yeah. toilet. It was, really, it was daylight. Right, right. All of us, all of us retired, man. So, yeah. Was, exhausted. And, and, and exhausted. Then, and then, Mike, then factor in the stress. The stress. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah. You're, you're physically tired, but then mentally, you're like, yo, I'm battling Rob. I'm battling Raider. We're like, we're battling <laughs> these guys. Like, yo, that, that shit. I remember Mike after. Me and you, I don't know if you remember this, Mike, but me and you hugged, and we were like, yo, never again. We're never <laughs> doing that shit again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember that. I totally I remember, remember that. I'm going to leave a twilight and be like, I never want to see that club again. <laughs> yeah, we, we ain't never battled them again, man. This is it. There's, there ain't going to be a sequel to this shit. Fuck that. <laughs> Mark, let, let's but, get to Shark yeah. Cup versus right. Sinister. Yeah. Damn, that got me. Big exhausted. up to um, Lord Sear. You see Lord Sear in the last set. And, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. And Ray Roll, rest in peace. And man, there's so many people back there. Joe from Fat Beats. Yep. Like so, legends back there. Crazy Woo! Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Yo, yo. It was a precision. Wow. Woo. God, was damn. Oh, damn. Jesus. Jesus. So I was waiting for that to so say. I was like, oh, man, that's that's just. Bro. <laughs> Joey was always clean. Thank you. Man, I know, I know when it was serious. If we had if if we if we had the gram back in those days, it'd be like all fire emojis. Yeah, yes. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, I, I remember when, when when Joey took off his shoes, it was oh. over. Yeah, yeah. I think his shoes were off that yeah, night. Shoes were off. Oh, yeah. His shoes were off that night. Uh, and he yeah, was I, on I, fucking I, I, fire. Thank for you. sure. That's, that's, that's behind the scenes for sure. One. Uh, if he took, Joey took his shoes off, fuck, <laughs> watch out. That was his I, battle man, tactic. Man. I, <laughs> I was like, uh, I know, I, I know from watching short that I was like, I know that he could beat Joe, I know that, and he could scratch. So I didn't know if he was gonna come up in combination of that shit. So I was like, oh, whatever, man, I just gonna have to like just do it to the best of my ability and go hard with it because. I was at that point. I was like, "Damn, let me see what he's he's gonna do." You know, Dude, I, just, I take after that's you one, guys, man. You y'all know that. That's one thing. East Coast, you guys at the East Coast with the beat juggling, and then <laughs> shout out to Steve D. He was back there too. Big yep. to Steve D. Yep. You, you seen the you seen the Superman shirt back then? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yo, Steve. I, Sinister, your fucking timing is like a fucking computer clock, man. It was like, yeah. it was impeccable, Robot. bro. That it, was, was it was amazing, bro, to see you and shit. Thank you, thank you. Likewise, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, short. Sure. I, I got to see short. Oh saying. shit! I'm afraid to watch this. Abort! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, 
Hey, you know, happened, know, if, any, if anyone's tried the, 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 if anyone in the if, if you guys know what the strobe juggle is, if once that shit goes off, that is hard yes, to yes, cover. Yes, yes. I said fuck it. I'm not even fucking even try. So Yo, you guys, everybody watch. I gotta hey, say something. Hey, I check it out. That, check it out. Go, go, go. Let me say something after you go. Go, okay, go. Okay, okay. That's that 5 a.m. It's yeah. it's 200 degrees. <laughs> it, that's yeah. that 5 a.m. It's 200 degrees. You haven't slept for 48 hours. Mm -hmm. yep. You better go in, moment, or else. Yeah. Yes. All, and it. all of us could have won what t shirts con. Con yeah. uh, contest at the end of that fucking <laughs> guys, that shit was guys. hot as fuck Bro. in there. All the fans out there yeah. see that like like it's crazy. Like but you guys see why like I was like I had to pull out on Soka because as you see what he just did, he had everybody in the back just like the next was just about to fall off, literally. <laughs> oh you two are the juggle kings, man. Like, yeah, man, that's that's like fucking yeah. Good time. Yo, yo time, this bro. is this is a little bit off the subject, but if you can see in the back, we're sweating like fuck. I and see. Rock, Rock Raider was next to me, and it was a bottle, of, a gang, of, a high call it what, is, a tub of waters, ice right. water, a tub of yeah. ice waters on the invisible scratch pickle side, and right. I was like, I ain't gonna give that motherfucker no water. <laughs> fuck that shit, <laughs> Rock Raider, you gonna fucking hell no. You gonna you gonna be fucking thirsty through the whole battle, and then you exactly. know what? Exactly, exactly. And then Don't the the, the, the fucking no high call it. Uh, the angel part of me said, "You better give him water." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah. No, so no, no, Raider, no. He, here's a, here's a bottle of water." And then Raider said, "Yo, Q, I love you, man." And he drank that shit. Yep. And it was like a moment of fucking peace within the battle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I remember I, I was on stage and I saw that interaction. And you're right. Like there was all this tension, right, from the point that we had the dinner with legs. Leading up to Manhattan Center that night, and then I saw that interaction. And yo, Raider, like, genuinely was like, Yo, thank you, Q, because we were dying, everybody yeah. we were dying. <laughs> and I remember, like, you said, Q, it was like like five seconds of like, Oh, yeah, those are our friends. <laughs> <laughs> four <laughs> seconds, like, four five seconds. seconds. For five seconds, it was like that's right, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah and, then, exactly. and then once once Raider got the water back, it was like fuck those. Fuck you, drink. Yeah, I was yeah. like, ah, oh, it's better. Throw, throw the bottle like you. That's me. Yo, this was, yo, this was good. Man, rest in peace, rest, rest in peace, Rock Raider, man. man. He's yes, fuck, man. God damn, guys. I got it was I great smile, to man. Go to a family thing, but no. Look. <laughs> <laughs> that the juggle you about to do? That's my favorite part. Come on, you can't leave now. Look, man, this has been such a, a, a experience, man. Just to get back with you guys, and, and we're gonna see each other. I, I presume in the near future. So there you go. There you go. That's yeah, that's just coming. Good, I guess you guys are uh, gonna uh, let them know. But it was a pleasure being with you guys on this forum to all the fans and people that came in. Thank you for watching this. You're going to learn a lot about uh, everything just watching this. And this is so special for us. And we all we love have you, brother. For this, you know, love you, Sam. We love you, brother. Love you, Ron, love you. Shortcut, Miss Master Mike, Q, Alex Aquino. I love all y'all, man. And God bless all y'all, man.
Yeah. You know you ain't got to go and learn shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go in the back and browse room and sleep for a little bit. <laughs> God bless yeah. you, Hey guys, I gotta follow Sinister. I gotta go too. I gotta, I gotta go. Yeah. Unfortunately, no, no, no. Let's, let, yeah, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's hit me up, Mike. All right, I'll hit you up too. I love you guys. Love you. Yeah, I love you, Mike. Mike. Alex, love you. Yo, good luck with the project, bro. Yes. Good luck, man. I hope that shit goes platinum. Yes. Oh, yes. Bon and next uh, time, please hit me up for some scratches, man. I, I will. <laughs> Megaton twenty. We're going. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. All right. Love you guys. Love you guys. Yes. Love all you guys. God bless. Love yes. you, Mike. Right. Round joy. Yes. Right. You, short. Yo. God bless Yo. you, Alex. Yo. I said, all right, Mike. Love you, man. Yo, th- yo, chat. Let's wrap this up to you. Let's just, you know, damn. Thank you guys so much, man. I, re- I really appreciate each and every one of you guys in the room f- to join us for. I mean, this is, yo, uh, Rob. I'm glad we we were, we talked about this, dude, and we, we were able to get the, the fellas on here. You know what I'm saying? Sure, like, man. we that made was it happen. Tw- yo, watch out, bro. I see it. <laughs> dude over here, yo. Oh, watch out. Man. I see it. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened? I'm gonna knock his computer over. He thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man, it's been awesome, dude, talking with you. And think about it: 25 years, yo. How fast has time flown? Like I feel like I just blinked my eyes and woke up, and here we are. You know what I mean? And it feels like just yesterday we were on that stage battling each other making history so fuck time flies yeah, man time and it's flies, just man. crazy that you know raider isn't here to watch this with us physically no. i know no, he's, he's watching he's, he's watching this um but a lot has changed man a lot has happened since then technology isn't what it was back then um but we are still here and i'm super grateful that we've left the legacy that we have, man, regarding DJing, because there'll never ever be another crew like the Invisible Scratch Pickles or the X-Men. And that's not, I don't say that in a disrespectful way or to be pompous, but what we contributed to this art form is cemented forever and ever and ever and ever, dude. And like, we still, are having an impact on the younger generation. There it is. Yeah. So I'm I'm just very thankful and grateful that I could say that, you know, and it's been an amazing run that we've had to, and we're still here doing it. How awesome is that? Thank you, oh, God. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Oh, no doubt. Thank, Thank you, guys. A gang of people in the chat. What's up? We even got Scratch Bastard in the chat. We got Scratch Bastard. Bastard. We got Craze in the room. We got... Man, Craze. Who else is in here? Hold on. Let's, let's check it out. Maybe can you put, it, can you put the... Uh, the list of Craze, Craze was at that battle too. The he list. was at the yeah, first Craze time I, I met him. He was in the audience. The, What's up? The list, the, the list of people in the room. Yo, and Alex, I just want to shout okay. you out, Alex, for uh, being the mastermind and crazy legs behind a lot of what we did as the X Men Invisible Scratch Pickles during that time period, man. Like, I remember doing West Coast tours with the guys. I have footage on YouTube of us getting kicked off planes. And shit like that. And yeah, man. It, it was an amazing time, man. And we did it on the strength of our talent as DJs without rappers. And yeah, Alex, you had a lot to do with that, bro. Like you were the, the brainchild to a lot of what we did and accomplished back then. So I'm glad that you were able to join us on this little watch along ISP versus X Men. Yeah, and, and let's let's add on to that that this was during the first ITF battle. It's, it's it's 25 years of, you know, since the first ITF battle. You know what I'm saying? So, big up ITF. Yo, Al, what's up, man? Oh, uh-oh. Al, uh-oh. your voice. Oh. I'm mute. I'm mute. I'm mute. Guys. No, thank you, man. I appreciate it. But, man, you, you guys' talents were just, you know, it, it, I was just honored to be part of that conduit. With all those guys to look support you, you know, with with Joe from Fat Beats and Eclipse, and there's so many people behind the scenes that help support this thing. You know, all the Rock City crew. You know what I mean? Ken Swift and everybody, all those guys, all the original Rock City guys. But again, we were just honored to be in the presence of you guys too, and we were just honored to like have the opportunity to you know capture this. You know what I mean? And then 
build a platform for other people that you guys inspired throughout the battle scene. And there was 10 years of ITF after this battle. And you guys sparked that whole shit. Like this battle was like, I, I, again, I can't, I just can't put in words what, what it meant to the, the culture and, and, and turntables in, in, in general. But again, it was some real true hip hop shit. You know what I mean? And and I was super honored to just be, just to know you guys, man, honestly. Just to be, you guys are, you know what I mean? Like, it's just amazing. Um, but, um, yeah, it's just a historic thing. Word. Yeah, thank you, man. Yo, for everyone out there watching, we battled each other, not because of ego or because we hated the other crew, although we joked a lot about that in the last couple hours. We battled each other strictly to entertain the the DJ scene and the greater mm -hmm. hip hop culture and the people that turned out. And we knew that that was going to be filmed and that it would be watched years later. And we just wanted to put on a show for people, man. And I'm just proud of us, man. I'm proud of what we accomplished and I'm proud of what we've done for music since then. You know, we didn't just go away after that competition. Like, we're still here leaving a legacy, man. And um, not a lot of people can say that from that era. So I'm just super proud of everybody that gathered together on this Twitch. Short, thanks for hosting sure. us. Man. No, right on, man. Yeah, thanks thank for, you. Uh, thank you guys for just Hey, man. And then, of course, the battle, man. There's Craze. Craze is in here. Who else is Yo. in the in the Got the game changer. Oh, Craze is in Red here. Attic. What up, Brett? Red Matic, Mello. Mello. Mello's in, in here too. Mello's in here. Yo, big up my, my, my B Junkie family in here. Yeah. Again, Breakbeat Blue. Tomcat. I mean, there's some cool, I mean, like old school heads in here, man. Mix. Arcade. DV1. DV1. What's up, DV1? DV. He actually wrote the first newsletter for Sick. ITF. Oh, and Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong too. Yo, big up Neil. Yep. Yo. But yeah, um, man. You, you want to talk, talk about that? The thick you? I mean, a short? What? Well, yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, we, we were talking about since it's ITF's 25th, I mean, you know, the anniversary since the first one. It's been 25 years since the first ITF. We were thinking about, you know, just how how many how many champions and, how, you know, names that came from that from that era, especially, you know, years after that, you know, was that from New York? Then we had the ball in Frisco. Then we had the ball in Hawaii. I and mean, you know, pick up a track. I think a tracks in the room too. A track. Yo, like, this, what do you, you know? What do you, I'll let you do the honors, Al. I'll let you do the honors. Oh yeah, so, so you know, we, you know, of course, during the COVID thing, we couldn't really do a real true anniversary, and and I, and, you know, Short and Rob came up with this idea of doing it on on, on Twitch, but we want to. Um, continue this celebration of this culture and ITF's 25th anniversary and doing a show, a weekend event in San Francisco, October 9th and 10th. See, that's my um, birthday. Yep. So save the date, guys. We definitely want to bring everybody in town. Um, I mean, there's so many people to thank. And then we want to celebrate every competitor that battled in the battle. Like, if it wasn't for you guys, it, this wouldn't happen. And again, um, it, it's just, we just need to keep this art form going. You got to remember what happened in the past. Remember, you know, just the, the historic things that happened within this culture and make sure that we remind each other that this exists. I mean, this is part of our DNA. Um, and again, um, and then just, again, honored to just be around with fucking the X-Men and ISP. Like, you guys are my hearts and you guys are like part of my history and in a lot of people's history around the world i mean you're talking about you know itf did 26 countries at one time you guys inspired all those guys from this battle q i mean there was a, there was a cuban in every country there's a rob swift in every country there was a shortcut you know what i mean like um in every country man and it was it was it was amazing to see and watch and and witness um these young kids just for you know 10 years straight with itf but again it, it, it inspired a whole generation but again october tw uh, 9th and 10th of this year we're going to try to get it together shortcuts working it out we're all working together to build this uh thing i think we talked to 
you know, all the homies and our brothers um, from the Beach Junkies to ISP to create everybody. We want everybody to be there. But yeah, again, thank you guys. Yeah, definitely make it a you know save the date and uh, wherever you're from, everybody around the world. If you guys can make it to San Francisco that weekend, that'll be dope. Um, the lineup is being worked on as we speak, and um, man, just you know, yeah, this is our culture, y'all. We want to honor you guys. We want to everybody who, who was part of this platform, part of the the movement, and um, made history, man. This is some hip hop yeah. shit. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, Pasha, yeah, Pasha, big up to Pasha, my partner Pasha. Again, um, so many Joe. fucking people to thank, man. I mean, again, everybody on the fucking on this on this comment on this chat room is just amazing people. But again, um, shit, we want to do a, a, again. We're gonna have some really cool shit program for this for that night for the weekend. We want to do a special event on Saturday night um, and tribute to all the DJs and, and you know all the best and all the judges. Oh, we got to big up Grand, Grand Wizard Theodore. You know, we used to give a Grand Wizard Theodore Award out to everybody. And um, we want to definitely big up him. And, you know, DJ Honda, who ran our chapter. There's Christian from fucking Italy. I mean, 26 countries, guys, and there's so many amazing people. But then uh, the next day, Sunday, we want to do a big barbecue type of, you know, we got to break bread and eat and before everybody jumps back on the plane. So we want to definitely celebrate and, you know, talk. You know, yeah. talk and discuss, and you know, hopefully we, we can, could yeah, we could uh, inspire more people for this. You know, for the next fucking twenty five years. Yeah, we're just talking to Rob about uh, we're maybe do some panel discussions. You know what I'm saying? Like just kind of talk about the state of the whole battle scene and everything. So, yo, if you're if you're if you're if you're a turntablist DJ, or if you're not even if you're just into the the scene and the culture, please you know come come through, y'all. It should be a dope. Yeah, one. for sure. You know. Go support all these guys. We, uh, Rob, we need those X-Men t-shirts, bro. And, yeah, you know, you yeah. got his seven inches all day long. This amazing fucking stuff. But, yeah, man, there's a lot of dope I, shit. I have them ready for Everybody that. Everybody support them. <laughs> Word up, y'all. For sure. Yo, be good, man. It was great gathering with you guys. Qbert, love you. Alex, Shortcut, love you. Yeah, love, love you Ron, guys, man. Ron Al, Ron Q. Ron, I love you guys. Love you guys. And love you guys. Rob, uh, Rob, what's your uh, Twitch? I don't have Twitch. Oh, okay. yo, yeah, Q, let me know, let me know the, 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 the math, everything that's going down, like when, how often you're on. and uh, you know, Yo, Q streams on here, too. I mean, if I'm you... like random. I'm on freestyle mode. If but you've I, been I, on, under a rock, you, and if you haven't added Q yet, please add him right about... Right now. Add him right now, so... We stream Jack a lot. I at least go on at least, what, three times a week. There you go. All right, y'all. Well, um... Okay, guys. Much yeah. love, guys. Love you guys. Much love, yo. Thank you, guys. Thanks to Thanks, thank you Q. the chat room. Abusesound.com as well. We got some questions in the audience, short. Questions in the audience. Oh. Are, you, are we trying to take questions? Is that what's going on? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Atomic Blonde, what's up? Yo, How does Q well, you know, stay so yeah, young? So if you if you if you caught this really late, yeah, we'll, put, well most likely I'll leave the stream up or I'll put it up on uh, on YouTube for sure. If you we have a stream. Uh, speaking of that, Alex, uh, my girl and me, we do a stream called. Uh, Musician nutrition, and she talks about all kind of shit, how to fucking stay healthy. I love that. Yeah. Are you guys doing like some cool frequency stuff? Because I know you guys are both musicians. Yeah. This is a, we talk about all kind of shit and stuff that's like banned and stuff that like uh, we talk about books that are banned and shit like the government's trying to hide from us to keep us. They want to keep us unhealthy. It's some conspiracy shit, but it's I I call it truth theory. But you know you know what's up, Alex. I love that shit, bro. Yes. Now we got to stay healthy. Yes, you know this is twenty five years. Imagine how old we are now. Shit, don't even want to talk about it. But that's we we need to we need to definitely tap into Q's thing. No, I love that Q. Mr. B, what's up? Yo, Who rest in peace, Bismarcky. Mr. Mr. B, rest man, man, rest in peace. He's enjoying so heaven, rock, rock. y'all. Mr. B in the house. ITF. All right. Thank you guys oh, for joining Q, us. Yo, Nina, oh, unit, if you could let us, uh, I don't know if I'll, I don't know who we could take this to. Who should we take to? Q, are you trying to stream? No, no, no. I said, we'll stream right now if you want to. I could stream for like two seconds, but I, I you know, I got to do the boogie gang shit. Go for it. Go on. We'll send it right there. On for yeah, let's go, let's go on Q's thing. Yeah, let's go on Q's page. Okay. Oh, let's, Mello. I think Mello should. Let's Mello. go, Mello. Mello. Stream, right. Mello. 
<laughs> or Glenn Mellows. I'm just calling everybody out. Craze, he's still in the room? We'll, go, we'll send everybody over there right now. What Let's up, Craze? You. Much I love, Craze. We got my brother Tashi. Uh-oh. Let me see if I can turn this OBS shit on. All right, y'all. I'm going to go, and then you, you figure it out. Merco okay, Machine. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead. We'll, we'll, we'll read your cue. Okay. okay, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Right on, Al. All right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Later, peace. Yo, chat room, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, man, big up everybody in the room. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all for, uh, man, for joining us for this, this special night. It was a special night. Um, I, I've been talking to Rob about this. We, we didn't, we tripped out that it is the 25th anniversary of the, of the battle, and I just thought it would be dope for us to actually just watch it together and just kind of relive the moments. Um, I'm just glad, yo, and I'm surprised, yo, big up Mike, because I, I was afraid Mike, you know, because Mike's a busy guy, and I was able to talk to Mike, and he was he was uh, gracious enough to, to, to come through and, and join us for this, so big up Mike, big up Joey, uh, Sinister, big up, my ba big up my producer, DJ Locke, my baby DJ Locke, on the controls all night, just working the controls, so the night is young, right, right, right Mello, the night is young, so Let's take this over. If uh, Nina, if you could t let me know if Q is on, so we can send this part. There he goes. Q is on. Okay. Uh, Nina, if you could do the honors, please. There you go. Please. No. Reminisce. I see you. New Zealand family in here. Addiction. Beer slushy. Info. What up, bro? Buddy Lee. BJ iOS family. Up. Oh, Sammy Gilmer. Steve Wonder. What up, my brother? My man Epic. Please follow him as well. So follow Steve Wonder if you haven't already. Yo Mafia, Pablo TV, oh shit, Neil Hef. All right, take care, y'all. Big up you, Sound. Big up my, band, my, my man, Buys. Action. Okay, peace. <laughs>